Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, and this is the first video in a set of videos that I'm going to do that show you how to work in Inkscape. So, Inkscape is a vector graphics drawing software or design software. Uh, it's it's probably, in my opinion, one of the best open source desktop applications that you can find on the World Wide Web. Uh, maybe even better with QGIS, I'm not sure, but um, it, it's, it's up at that same level of quality. So it's excellent. It, it's, it's an open source version of something like Adobe Illustrator or Cor CorelDRAW. Um, and I've been using it for a long, long time and the, the program's gotten much, much better. Uh, so I, I have a bunch of Inkscape videos on our uh, Redefine Horizons learning channel on YouTube, but some of those videos are, are starting to get a little dated. Um, they're pretty old and, and Inkscape has changed. So I wanted to do um, a new video uh, series, one, uh, to um, have the videos be a, a little more up to date with the current version of Inkscape. So I'm using version 1.3 um, for this video. And then two, uh, some of my previous videos I would just kind of record as I was working on different things. And this is gonna be a little more deliberate walkthrough of uh, Inkscape and the different tools. Uh, I will also do some other videos in 1.3 where I show you how to how to do specific work products, but uh, this is this is more of just getting accustomed with the tools. We are going to work on an example project, but the, the purpose of that is primarily to demonstrate the tools. <clears throat> so I want to in this video we'll just walk you through the user interface and then show you a little bit about how to set up your document. So this is what Inkscape looks like when it opens. It's going to look something like this. I have the uh, dark theme on. Um, there's also a light theme. So it's going to look something like this. I have right now, my Inkscape is set up to use a uh, standard letter size 8.5 by 11 document. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to change that. Uh, so let's go through the user interface uh, just briefly. And depending on what operating system you're on and the version of Inkscape, you're using this it might look a little bit different but up here we have our standard menu bar uh, then we have the main toolbar here this is context sensitive so this toolbar will change depending on what you do um, in the other parts of the user, user interface so it's a little bit like the ribbon in Microsoft Office that way uh, this is another toolbar here on the left side this is uh, one of the main toolbars in Inkscape and then I'm not sure what they call this, but I'm going to call this the, the pane, the side pane. And it's tabbed. So this is the text dialog, the layer dialog, the export dialog, the transform dialog, the align and distribute dialog, the fill and stroke. There's a fine. And you can see I can close these. And if you want to get them back, so for example, if we want the fill and stroke back, um, that's down. That's on this other toolbar here. So it opens that tab back up. So this is the, the right side toolbar. So we've got a left side toolbar and a right side toolbar. And I, I believe you can drag these around if you want. I, I stick with the default. You can see if you have more items than will fit, there's this little arrow here. You can pull up the stuff that you can't see. Down here we have this little bar of color schemes. And you can actually, that's not the right scroll bar. There's usually a scroll bar. Oh, here it is. So it's a little bit different now. So they've got it where you can toggle through these and you can customize these color schemes and add them. And they've got another little list here with all kinds of uh, color schemes. Uh, so that you can configure that. We're not going to mess with that. And I'll be honest with you, I don't use this tool a whole lot. I, that's probably something I should, I should look into. And then down here we have the taskbar. So it's just providing you some information, tells you the current layer, if it's visible or locked. It'll give you some tips here in this little part, show you your X, Y location based on your cursor and your zoom level, the rotation of the object you've selected. This is your um, your fill right here, your fill color. So that's a that's a basic interview, a basic excuse me overview of the user interface. This is your snaps right here. Sorry, I forgot that up in your upper right hand corner. So if you hit this little arrow. You can go in and set all your snaps. We'll do a separate video just on snaps. And then this turns your snaps on and off. Okay. 
So that's a quick rundown of the user interface. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to set up your document. So to do that, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to come down to Document Properties. It is going to pull up a floating dialog, which you can see here. So there's a number of tabs here that we will work across. So the first tab lets you set your document size in the, uh, the kind of the demo project that I'm going to be working on in these next few videos. We're going to do a set of slides to design a set of slides. And so I actually want something with a 16 by 9 ratio. And you can you can choose different um, units here. I just I like to work in inches. I'm an American and a surveyor and so inches just work good for me. So I'm gonna set inches and then I gotta come down and choose my um, size here. And I'm not sure if they have so they have all kinds of different sizes. I don't know if they have a uh, the size I want which is a 16 by 9 it might be one of these here one of those ratios might be uh, the correct ratio it looks like it's that one I'm gonna go ahead and tell it go go portrait okay I don't usually mess with this scale here um, I, I feel like when I do that it really messes things up so I'm gonna just leave it at the default you can turn on a border change the color turn on a shadow um, I usually don't mess with those. I do have a dark, kind of dark page border, um, and then it, you can you can do some other things here. I go ahead and, and use uh, the anti-aliasing makes the rendering a little smoother, but also slower. Okay, this is your uh, your guides tab. Guides um, let you draw graphics along common common lines. They're kind of like a ruler almost. Um, I don't change any of the defaults here. Then you can create a grid. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Uh, you can load color profiles. That's what's shown up down here. I'm not going to do that. The scripting. You can do some stuff with scripting in here. I don't mess with that. Uh, you can set m metadata on your document. I almost never do this either, although I probably should. And then you can pick your license. So what I normally do to set up my document after I set up the um, the page size and the units, oh, right here, if we want to set our display units to inches as well, um, then I go in and usually create the grid for my document. Now, you can do some different kinds of grids. I'm just going to do a rectangular grid here. And as soon as I hit New, you can see it gives me a new grid. As far as I know, there isn't a way to name your grid. Uh, that would be kind of cool if you could do that, but I don't, I don't know that there's a way to do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I want my grid to be in inches. And I'm not going to mess with the origin point. But to start, I'm going to do my grid at a tenth of an inch each. Okay, and another thing that Inkscape, Inkscape does is it makes your... Um, it makes your major grid lines the same as your minor, which I don't like. I like to have them be a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make my major grid lines green. And I'm going to leave it at, um, I'm actually going to do 10 for now. So I'll do 10 every, uh, <clears throat> so my grid, my grid will be one inch now. And so you can see this didn't exactly do what I wanted, right? So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 grid units so I'm gonna go back to this I know I want a 16 by 9 ratio so I'm gonna just make this 16 inches by 9 inches so I'm having a little trouble picking the inches there okay so <clears throat> that's the the size now so if you count those major grid lines now you'll get nine units up the side and 16 across the top um, so that that's basically it um, now I do most of my documents have the same um, same small set of layers um, so you could go in and do if you wanted to you could go in and set that up so it always gives you a layer one I like to rename that I will just call that base uh, my base layer um, and then I, I always have a couple layers, almost always a couple layers. So I'll have a text. I do a text title usually. And I will do a text regular. So I'm just 
hitting the plus button there and then adding um, adding the layer um, and we're, we're going to do a separate video on just the layer dialog but I just wanted to give you guys a, a rough idea how that worked so we, we basically have our document set up now so we can we're going to go ahead and save this and I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder here I'm going to call this this is going to be my I'm going to use this uh, set of slides for my survey strong training videos and I'm just going to call this my base let's call it bare bones bare bones template okay so we got our document saved uh, we've got uh, just a review we kind of went through the user interface and then I showed you how to just set some basic document properties so in the next video we're going to show you some basic drawing tools and a little bit about how to work with text and the text dialogue.